Hey there, so this is Tyson. I got a quick video for you today. I just want to showcase the pre-search MCP I made basically for searching uh, pre-search nodes and instead of like using Google or Brave Search. So I got it set up on smithery.ai. It's like a library for MCPs. You can uh, download them through here. You can have them hosted remotely. And I also got an open source on uh, GitHub. So I made this all like by vibe coding. So I need to like probably update some of the readme, make sure it's a hundred percent accurate. But uh, everything's there, like on how it works. You, what's required is your uh, pre-search API key, so you just gotta request one from them and all that stuff. And then these are all the parameters you can get for searching. So it's pretty. It's required for an IP address of the user, but the AI will just put in the one. Uh, you can search by country code, languages, you know, a lot of safe search freshness, which is pretty useful if you're doing like a research paper or something. And it's uh, full, fully privacy, like privacy focused. And I also added the ability to do web content scraping. So like how you can content scrape uh, like uh, pictures and stuff and pull it into like a document or something if you were trying to do like a document. And then I also made it so you could export formats and stuff. So I added a couple extra things to the mcp like basically only thing that's connected with pre-search is probably this and the uh, health stuff but the rest is to do with like just an extra benefit i added in the export results it probably uses the search to do the scraping so i just wanted to show you real quick so since it's on smith 3 ai you can go here and uh after you configure and add your api key here See, there's additional settings you can run it on a different port and you can uh, log info if you wanted to get like an error warning debug it you can also fork the ncp and add your own changes to it if you'd like and submit requests or whatever so if you go into auto on here so let's say if you're using chat gpt you just click this and then you can add this to chat gpt if you're using cloud desktop you can add this you can also get the the JSON here, the TypeScript, the Python. So we're gonna real quick just for the tutorial. I'm gonna use VS Code Insiders. Now, if I click here, look, it's gonna click this, pop this open. Let's see how it brought this open. It shows this here. Pre-search MCP. I just hit install. So now it's installed. So it's trying to authenticate now. So we're gonna authenticate. I'm gonna hit open. It's bringing it open on. Uh, I have the computer. This is where you put in your API key. I'm going to have the screen with it. And then you can choose the stuff. So hit connect. Sign in successful. Open VS Code. So it should work now. And we use the pre search, search MCC, and test all tools and give me the use cases of this. MCP. So let's see here. It should work. I never tested it in VS Code. I was using my own uh, the tray IDE that I use. I don't use VS Code right now. So let's see what goes on here. Look. So it pulled up the tool. So it, it got to be connected. Look. In this MCP and their use cases. So you can form a search query on pre search and retrieve results, scrape content from a specific URL, export search results in a specific format, you know, like top programming languages in the CSV format. You can check the health and do cache. So let's do this. Yes, test all tools. So there will be an error, I think, since there's not an AP, uh, there's not an IP address, maybe. And then you just gotta say you uh, want the AI to put one in, which we put in the uh, most recent. So it ran the health check. See, look, healthy, responsive, valid, key, blah, blah, blah. Cash, no, no hit tracking. So we try the search query with a correct IP, which is the only thing I don't really understand. If it's supposed to be privacy, why do we gotta have an IP for it? But uh, there's probably a reason, so I never asked. But either way, so I put one in. I put in this one. And look, it automatic. this is what the MCP is mainly for. It pulled the 
search directly off of uh, pre-search. Latest AI trends, U.S. freshness, past week, moderate. Look, it pulled them all up. So now I can literally click into them if I wanted to. Test remaining. So you get, like, if you first time using it, you got to, like, allow it, right? Always allow. So now watch this. It's scraping the content off that first article there. Scrape the whole content. And exported it as a, as a JSON. What are the use cases of this MCP? What can I do with the scraped content and the export results? Also, how does the search work with research? So I'm just kind of asking these questions just to showcase you. It makes it a little easier than me going over it, right? So look. You provide a query, pre-search retrieves, search results based on parameters like freshness, country, language, and safe search settings, includes titles, links, and descriptions. Quickly gather information on topic. Market analyst, content discovery. Now, this is where it goes in. It goes into the site and actually scrapes it. So that's, that's a little bit better for, like, pulling the data like SEO, data extraction, and export results if you want to export it into like a, you know, a file or something, right? A PDF file or something like that, markdown. Summarize articles, export results. You know, there's so many features that you can do that I set it up for. So I hopefully, hopefully it's, it's usable to you guys. And, uh, and if anybody needs any help or anything, just check out the links in the description. Join the pre-search community. And uh, hope you guys have a wonderful day. I just want to make a quick video to showcase it for the team of research and, uh, and anybody else stumbles across it on YouTube. But if you want to check it out, just go to the links in the description. You can set it all up. I hope you guys have a wonderful day.